This video is going to show how to use the awesome Flex Formatter plugin, which is usually an Eclipse plugin, uh, with IntelliJ. How we're going to do this is by first you have to download a couple things. Um, so you'll want the Flex Formatter command line support jars and the actual Flex Formatter jars. And then I'll put those links up uh, next to this video. And then also you'll need the uh, you need to extract them all into this one directory, uh, whatever you want to name it. And then from there, you can run this command from the command line. So any command you can run from the command line, you can also set up as an external tool within IntelliJ. So you'd go into File Settings, um, and you look in the External Tools. You can see I have Flex Formatter set up and edit. You can see all I'm doing is pointing to Java, the Java executable, passing in that exact same, those exact same parameters um, that you saw in that command line or uh, set in the on the web page. So right here. And I'm actually replacing the source directory parameter with what's called a macro, this one being file path you can see that file path is going to be uh, the path to the file I'm currently working on. Um, Flex Formatter would also let you pa pass in uh, the file directory. So it would format all those files within directory. But right now I'm just going to do it on that one path. And then the working directory needs to be where, those, uh, where all of those jars are. So you see C tools flash. So once you have that set up, uh, you can actually, uh, what I like to do is make a quick list. You can see I just hit plus there. I created a quick list called Flex Formatter, which I moved the external tools format Flex Formatter over here. So I have a quick list for this. And then once you have a quick list, you can create a key map for that quick list. So you can see uh, flex formatter is bound to control alt shift F. Now once all that's done, all I have to do is hit control alt shift F. It'll bring up my flex formatter quick list. I'll hit enter and you can see that this file, which was once uh, all messed up, uh, is cleaned up according to the formatter properties. Um, the, the only downside of this is you don't have that UI to define these properties. Uh, fortunately, you could just open Eclipse with the plugin and set up all those properties or use a, a previously generated one. Um, so based on these properties, which are set in your directory here, so find an old one or download one from somewhere, um, it'll format your file based on those settings. You can see that uh, that properties file is actually a parameter if you look in your external tools uh, is actually a parameter here within the external tool uh, flex formatter properties so there you go um, I can actually if you want to see what it was before so I can undo um, so it's back to where it was I, I messed this up or made it unorganized on purpose so there's a public static, public function, private static, public function, a couple of privates, private function, a setter. Um, so this was all, you know, all messed up. And then I just used my keyboard shortcut. And then it cleaned it up according to those properties that I had set. So statics at the top and then the constructor, then the privates with getters and setters, then the privates, then public functions protected and private functions. So there you go. That's how you do it.